And what this guy creates is called UU Matter. We have a UU Matter drum now. 738 millibuckets of UU Matter. What's up, people? I'm Zog, and welcome back to FTB Infinity Evolved Expert Mode Skyblock. We're here, we're doing things. And I gotta tell you something, okay? <laughs> the last few videos were actually recorded ahead of time. Now, I do this for a very particular reason. That reason being so I have time on the weekend to do a couple tutorial videos and I kind of pre record them. So it's been a couple days, and that is the only reason. Then I've actually done a little bit of work around here. First, we're gonna go check out what I've done over here. Now, uh, well, actually, first we're gonna go right here. Now, these are a couple of blocks. I got a whole lot of comments about people telling me what kind of blocks I, could sh I should use, like chisel stone and a whole bunch of other things. Uh, so I have a few options here. Uh, this is the blue. The blue, I thought it would look a lot better because I thought this would tie into that. Uh, and I thought it would kind of bring it into the center a little bit without it being less than naturey. I thought it would still be a little bit naturey. I don't know. The blue, I think it might. I don't know. It does look pretty good because we do have this here. It's not terrible, but it does look a little bit out of place. Uh, and these guys do, they just look out of place too. The leaves look really cool, but they're green again, so I'm not 100%. I also got comments about, like, chiseled stone bricks or uh, maybe some marble. We might play with some marble. Do we, uh, mar oh, marble. Do we even have marble? I don't, we, marble is not a thing we have. Can we make marble? <laughs> I don't know if we can even make marble in this. It obviously exists, but we can't, oh, here we go. Marble, marble stone from this. Which we get from sieving regular... You can sieve stone, but it's stone. You get these bushes and stuff. I had no idea this was a thing. That's pretty cool. That's actually really cool. But I don't know. I'm still playing with these things. Uh, marble would be really good. I really, really love marble uh, because it's an off-white color. I'm not a huge fan of, like, pure white. I don't know. He's uh, had... Just <laughs> pure white is not necessarily a thing that I, I, I like. I like the off-white and off-black. Because everybody likes white and black. I like the off colors. Uh, so, in, you know, marble is kind of that. And then you can chisel it as well, which actually does look pretty cool. I think uh, if we look in here, it'll actually show us a lot of the different things we can do. So we might play with a few of these. Now, a lot of these guys, when put next to each other, they'll combine and actually, like, you'll see the pattern extend with the more blocks you place, which I really like. But that will not happen with these guys, so we will have the border on every single block, which isn't really something I like. I tend to not like that, but uh, I don't know. We'll have to see. But I am still playing with it. Uh, keep, feel free to keep sending me suggestions because while I uh, I do really like the ones that were given, I don't think we found the block we're going to use yet. I don't think we found it yet. Maybe marble, just because I haven't played with it yet, but uh, that might end up not being a thing that fits in very well either. So... Uh, yeah, and I think once we figure out what block goes here, we're also going to layer that on the bottom row of this all the way around, which I think would look amazing. I really, really do. I think that would look great. I also stopped to finish lowering all the grass. Now, let's move on to the next thing that I did. Remember, I've been trying to hold myself back from doing too much off camera because I wasn't trying to record. I have my episodes done. I didn't want to progress too much. So instead of progressing, I, I kind of did some automation stuff. Uh, with machines that I had already made before so I remade a couple extra machines and, and I placed them and it was a little bit of progression what we've done over here is actually automate this entire thing so we have these guys processing once they're done they are going to be automatically put into here automatically sent into the thermal centrifuge and set out into their different materials uh, so the regular ones they give us one pile of plutonium uh, a bunch of uranium, uranium, I said that like it was two words, uranium, a little bit of the tiny piles of uranium, uh, stone dust, actually I think it gives this one, this one, and this one, uh, no, it gives, oh yeah, this one actually is from uranium ore, so it gives this, the uh, uranium, it gives the tiny pile of plutonium, and stone dust, and then the other guys, the mox ones, which I have 26 of right now, which is one shy of a full set, by the way. One one shy of a full set. Uh, and those guys 
give the tiny pile of plutonium regular plutonium and iron dust. So the iron dust from those guys, this is why I said it, you can pretty much infinitely cycle these guys around. You won't have to interact with this at all and you will just forever gain plutonium. Uh, but these guys right here, these guys, I feel like I'm hearing clicking. I don't know. Anyway, so uh, yeah, these guys right here, um, they give back iron dust, which means we can take the iron dust out of here. We can smelt it up using redstone furnace into an iron ingot. We can send it into a metal former to make a plate, and then we can extrude that plate into a, t a fuel cell, and we can automatically pump that fuel cell right into this guy so that we're good to go. Pretty, pretty perfect that way. And then we have these guys being uh, sent into a crafter. So we have the tiny piles combined into a large one. The large ones with a recipe in here, so the tiny piles become one plutonium that will then be combined into a MOX nuclear fuel and set into here. And then after these guys combine together, it's sent into here. So all of this is pretty much completely automatic. The only thing is that there is a chance we'll run out of uranium, but as you see there, we have 8,500 of it. It'll take a pretty long time for us to run out of that stuff. <laughs> So that'll be a thing. But now we don't need it. Now you might be saying, why, Zo? Why do you not need it? You need that to go through. Not really. What I want to happen now is I want to wait a little while. And I want the MOX nuclear fuel to be sent through and processed so we can centrifuge it and get all of our plutonium back. We want every piece of plutonium that we currently have. We want all of that available to us. And the reason for that is what I'm about to show you now. <laughs> so it's really, really cool. Just going to take me a second to get over there because despite the redesign, the like very first thing when I made the first circles, the redesign was actually meant to make the area smaller, but I made it bigger. It's, it's, uh, it's pretty big and it's okay. We'll eventually be fast enough to travel and fly really, really, really fast. And we'll be able to get from one side to the other in like a blink of an eye. But we have this set up. Now, this is progression. I couldn't hold back. And the reason I couldn't hold back about this is because this guy right here, the mass fabricator, will generate what it generates forever. So while I was waiting the two days, I was gaining what we want. Now, what we want, what this guy creates is called UU Matter. We have a UU Matter drum now. 738 millibuckets of UU Matter, which is pretty cool. And we're gaining more. So I went ahead and did this just so while we're AFKing, while we're waiting, we're actually gaining the resource that we really needed. That's the only reason this is actually a thing. We do have the fluid solid canning machine, which we had before, but I made a second one uh, so that we can make some fuel cells in order to make some overclocker upgrades. So what is happening here, basically? Let me run you through this real quick. And I know it's a lot of show and tell, and I do apologize. I usually don't like to do that so much. But uh, we have our cobblestone generator. That is all being sent into the recycler. This guy right here, first of all, recycler. This guy, not too difficult to make. Three dirt, one glowstone, one iron ingot, and a compressor, which is this six stone, a basic machine casing, and electronic circuit. It's actually really, really simple. Not difficult at all. The overclockers, different story. These guys, cool and cells. We have the bottle, and then we have the, there's a, there's a pretty big process to this. Coolant. I showed you this before. I don't know if you probably don't remember it. But basically, you put water in here and you put lapis and it will change that water over into coolant and then you throw it into, uh, well, there's a universal fluid cell. We don't want it in that. We actually want it in the coolant cell. We want to get a coolant cell. So we need an empty cell rather than a universal fluid cell. We want this guy. The empty cell is what we're looking for. So I made a bunch of these and I made a bunch of those so that we could get the upgrade things, these guys which we then combine with tin plates. And then we can get the overclocker upgrades from here, like so. Really not too complicated. It was a little bit complicated. I had to figure, I had to figure out how to get the coolant and it, it was, uh. anyway. So now that this is going, basically what this is doing is it's recycling a whole bunch of cobblestone really, really quickly because of the overclocker upgrades and we're getting a whole bunch of slag or scrap, I'm sorry. 
thought it was slag for a second, but it's scrap. That scrap is automatically sent into this guy, which speeds up the process. You see the amplifier, and it goes up really well. It's not really, really, really fast. It's actually really, really, really slow, as a matter of fact. But uh, it's even slower without that amplifier thing down there. So, yeah, we're gaining a bunch of UU Matter uh, from this setup. But there is more to do as far as the replication of things go. Um, that's what this is for, if you didn't know. You can make a... Actually, I think it's called the replicator. Uh, that I spelled that wrong. Replicate. Yeah, this guy. Now we have the replicator. We have the pattern something something in here. Uh, what are you called? Uh, no, that's Thomic Energistics. There's another one in. Oh, here you are. Pattern storage. We need this guy, and we need uh, something else that I don't remember what it's called. Um, but you can line these guys up side by side. We are going to need power for sure. We could probably make it work to replicate, but it, it might be a little bit problematic to run this to gain more UU matter, to replicate more. <sighs> but we're going to start on making some of these machines, these other machines today. As soon as I figure out exactly what we need. There's one other one. We have the pattern storage and we have the replicator, but there's one more before that that I need to get set up. And uh, that's what I want to work on today. I want to try to get some of that going. So that other machine I was talking about, uh, it's called the scanner. We need this guy in order to get things going. Now I have all the materials. I believe I have all the materials I need. But the first thing that we want to grab is something like you. This is the one. This is the one. I made this. Yeah. Mm -hmm. We want these so we can actually throw them in the, in the compressor and they'll compress up and give us what we need while we're waiting. Also, I forgot that I actually needed some more glass. But good thing I know the number of the glass that I need. I need seven of them. Give me you, quite clear glass. As soon as you show up in the bag, we can get started with things. Come on. There we go. Found you. Oh, uh, uh, okay. Good. All right. We're fine. Now, what we can do, we have the iron plates. We need these guys. Bam. What? Oh, wait. Ah, oh, I didn't make the other parts. <laughs> coils. We only have two coils? Oh, man. We need more than that. We need two. We need four coils. Oh, no. All right. Hold on. No, 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 no. This is fine. 16, uh, three, uh, four. Uh, eh? Copper. Three six nine, three six nine, so four. Uh, six. Six more copper, I think. Hopefully. You guys are now done, so we can grab you and we can go. I believe it's like an H pattern with the glass. And then. Didn't I grab them? Oh, yeah, there they are. Oh, that, the mysterious magnet. That's not what we wanted. We have those now. Uh, we should have the copper in inventory, so we can go ahead and grab you, go into this guy, go into extruding, and throw those in there. So now we get those. And then we can't get the second one of these, but we can get one of them. And then we need to get this guy right here. Bam. We have eight of those. We only need the one. And then those guys, and then this. So we have to wait for these guys to finish processing here. Which shouldn't take too long, but we need one of those like so, and then we need this wrapped around. We have, there's one, we need another one as well. One more, whoa, 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 whoa. All right, so there's three, and then six. We didn't need all of these actually. We only needed minus one. We only needed five because we already had two. So now we're good after this one goes through here in a second, as soon as it's finished, you can be thing get thank you all right so <laughs> now we can go like this and go uh, like this and then this and then this and then this and then this and this and then this <sighs> and then we have the scanner so we're good with the scanner now now we have to get the other two things that we in, uh, uh, we need for this process okay so if we take a look at the last two recipes, we have the pattern storage and the replicator. Pattern storage here requires reinforced stone. Okay, not a problem. Advanced circuit, oh, it's a pain in the butt, but we can do advanced machine casing, same thing. Mining laser, I think we've done this before uh, once, maybe once. Yeah, we. I remember this guy. Oh, you're a pain in the, you're a pain in the butt. But anyway, uh, I might have to go rewatch that video just to figure out how we made that work. But anyway, I need two of these guys uh, but we need the reinforced stone. When we look at the replicator, we need more reinforced stone. A lot of these guys, which are pain in the butt, 
HV transformers. We need a bit of things. We need some things. <laughs> but we need the reinforced stone. So the way we get reinforced stone is we go over to a crafting table. We put in a little bit of clay. We put in a little bit of sand. We put in a little bit of stone dust all the way across this guy, up and down, like so, like so, like this, to get CF powder. Put the P CF powder into, not the macerator. Oh, we made a macerator, by the way, because we needed this for stuff uh, a little later. Uh, it's basically like a pulverizer and stuff. I didn't really do much with it. Um, there's just something we need that can only use this and can't use a sag mill or pulverizer, so I had to make this guy. Again, I see two for the win, being so stupid. But anyway, uh... See it? No, 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 no. Oh, don't do that. That's not what we need. Actually, we need the fluid solid canning machine. If we put this guy in here, uh, no. We want fluid and rich. We want to put those guys in here. And apparently, there's a quick way to actually have water dumped in. If we go over here and actually take a bunch of water cells in here, like a so. I'm not sure how much of the uh, CF powder it takes to actually enrich water to what it needs to be. Uh, I thought you were able to like right click on this guy with this to fill it up, but you're not able to. That's so not good. Uh, you can, I, I mean, I know you can drain from cell into tank. It just means there was an update since the thing that I read. Uh, and if things are out of date, if what I read was out of date, that means the whole process may have changed. Uh, which is kind of a pain in the butt. It really kind of is. So what we want to go ahead and do is wait for this water to finish pumping into the system. And once it's filled with water, we can take all this stuff out, we can switch tanks, and then go to fluid and rich, like a soap. And it'll start doing this thing. Uh, let's actually go ahead and put our universal cells up. Oh, this. Go. It worked. Perfect. Now we have a universal fluid cell. I actually... No, we don't want that. We don't want that, actually. We want it to go into the tank. We're going to have to drain this back into there. But that's fine. It's fine. It's okay. Uh, we'll, we'll manage. But basically, now we have 1,000 millibuckets of construction foam. So what we need to do now is actually look at a couple more things. Um, what is it called? CF something something, right? Oh, yeah, here we go. The sprayer and the backpack. Well, I don't think... I don't know if we need the sprayer. I think we can just... Or I don't know if we need the backpack. I think we can just use the sprayer. One universal fluid cell and one iron item casing. Uh, yeah, so we just need a little bit of iron. So actually, do we have some of those casings? Oh, we have one casing here. I thought we had two more on us, actually. I really did. Yes, we do. Look at that. Perfect. I accidentally made the perfect amount. We already have one of the universal fluid cells. So all we really got, it. we had one extra of those. So it's even more perfect. So now we have the CF sprayer, and after these things are done being sent into here, which it looks like it's just about done, here in just a second, let's go ahead and drain this other guy into the tank as well. Uh, drain from cell into tank, go. I think that's, oh wait, that's going to put it over here. Let's do this, switch tanks, and then we'll drain it. And then that should put it over here to fill it up, and then it'll be maxed out, and then we're good. We're, we'll be fine after that. We'll, we're, no, it's okay. We'll, uh, we'll make it work. Oh, man, I was wrong. Darn it. All right, no, it's fine. We can switch tanks pretty easily, so it, it's okay. It's okay. It's okay. So what we want to do is actually, oh, let me fill cell from tank, fluid enrich, canning. I, do we have to go to canning, maybe? Can we shift click? No. Drain from cell? No, fill cell. Oh, that worked. Oh, you're working. All right, cool. Now we have the CF sprayer. Okay, there's one more thing we got to look at now. And I believe it's called the iron scaffold. Um, I think we need this guy, which, wow. I didn't even know iron fences were a thing. We get 16. So we need six iron plates. And we have to extrude three item casings. So we need uh, a <laughs> iron. So we needed six of the plates, and then we need enough for three fences. You only get two, so we need seven, eight iron. Oh, look, we had iron plates. Actually, just give me eight of those, and I'll keep the iron on me. And then we need to extrude uh, two of those. Perfect. You made it there first. If we extrude an iron plate, two of those, three of the... Oh, wait. That only gives us one fence, right? Why was I being so derpy? No! What? You kidding me? Oh, we had, oh man! 
Crapo. All right, so uh, it looks like I needed the iron anyway. I'm being a derp. All right. Um, let's do one, two of these guys. Nope, don't exclude. Roll. Yes, do the rolling thing. Two more rolling. And then we need six plates. And then we need three of these guys. So we have two. Here's that one. And this guy's good. How much of this do we have left? We have 808 UU matter, which is pretty good. That's almost two of what we're going to duplicate, which I'm going to show you a little bit later, probably in the next episode, because I won't have enough time in this one. Uh, no, 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 no. We want to roll it again to get the tin. Oh, we get duplicates. Dang it. Okay, no, we're fine. Let me go sleep while that's working, because it's raining, and it's all nasty, and it's yeah, ugly, and I hate rain and dark. Rain and dark combined together are really, really bad. I bet you hate it too, don't you, Cal? Yeah, I know you do. I know you do. Don't worry. I'm about to sleep. It's fine. I'm going to sleep for all of us. We're all... I'm going to sleep for everybody. Or every... Everything. I can't say everybody because you're not a person. It doesn't really fit. I don't think. No. Eh. Doesn't fit. You're not a person. So everybody doesn't fit you. But anyway. <laughs> moving on. Ignoring the rambling. Okay, now we have this. And then we extrude three of these guys in order to get what we need to get for that. That's an interesting way to get that. So now, oh wow, oh wow, it filled all of it up. Okay, switch tanks. Let's go ahead and get another one in there if it actually works. It sure does. Look at that. That thing, that thing could be filled up a lot. Do we even, what do we, what do you need a backpack for? I guess that's when you need a, like a huge amount of it, I guess. Come on, you. I mean, we get like 16 of these guys and we only need five. So we only need one more. We have the plates. We have a little bit more iron. We have this, so we can go like this, or across here, and then like this, and like this, and we get 16 of these bad boys. So what we want to do is go ahead, one, two, oh, no, okay, good, you're easy to break. Two, three, four, five. We're going to do five just for now, and we don't need this much stuff in the CF sprayer either, but we should be able to go, bloop. Now all of them are reinforced construction foam. Now here's a really cool thing about this. Uh, that's basically a process that takes a while, right? It, it will eventually convert over into what it needs to convert into, uh, which is reinforced stone. Like it'll, it, it's like it dries into it or something, but you can speed this process up. Bam, 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 bam. Just by right clicking with a piece of that. Now it's reinforced stone and it takes forever to break. But we need them in item form, so it didn't matter where we laid them down. We just need to be able to pick them up. Hopefully. Oh, 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 oh. Oh, lag. Oh, don't do that. You scared me. I thought my game crashed. Dang it. Don't do that to me, game. All right. No, we're fine. It's fine. Nope, we're fine. We're, we're okay. So I'm going to go ahead and break these guys. Oh, no. I messed up. Dang it. Reset. Ah, oh, crap -o. I need like 18 levels of uh, redstone on this guy. <laughs> this is this is so unbelievably slow, but I'm just gonna go ahead and get these guys I'm gonna get this stuff together uh, all the materials and everything uh, And I'm gonna see where we're at after that after I get all the materials and make the other machines and stuff um, After this breaks machines First we need the pattern guy this guy stores all of the patterns that we get from the scanner when we scan a pattern we have to save that pattern somewhere in order to make it accessible by other machines like the replicator. So we have to store it in the pattern storage. Makes sense, right? Uh, sort of, kind of, it makes sense anyway. And then you have the replicator, which actually uses the UU matter to replicate things based on those patterns that you just made. So we have reinforced glass, which we actually have some of this. Reinforced stone, which we just now got. And then these guys right here. Now these guys are a little bit, they're, they're not like difficult to get. They're just different. We haven't really gotten too many of these before. Gold cable and rubber bars. I mean, well, rubber bars, yeah. But insulated gold cable, I used these once before. Never, uh, may, yeah, I did use an advanced RE battery for something. I don't remember what. MV transformer, never got one of those, but they're pretty simple. You know, electronic circuit, that's not too bad. You know, these guys we've used a lot of because we use these for Tesseracts, but now I need three of them for one machine. It's kind of a pain in the butt. I really hate those guys. <laughs> MFE, more of these guys, energy crystals and basic machine casings. Not too complicated, but still something we got to work on. So I'm going to go ahead and get these machines together. I'm going to set them down and place them and do some stuff and uh, hook them up with power over here. You see there's uh, the, the gold kinesis pipes that I have right there, ready to transmit power to all of our machines. I'm going to go ahead and set these guys up and uh, right here and right here. 
And when I do that, I will be right back, and we're going to check some stuff out. I'm not very happy right now. I'm really getting sick of recrafting everything. I died again. I did make these. I left my jetpack in here because this is... I wanted to show this to you. Why I died. Okay, I need to make sure I focus in the top left-hand corner up here. Because that pretty much tells you when you have a jetpack on. But what I did is I came in here and I shift-clicked it in. Right? By the way, I do have chain stuff. It just looks exactly like it does when you don't have anything on. Like, it looks exactly the same. So, you can't tell. But I do have the chain stuff. Just got that from the little chesty bit down there. But, uh... I... I came in here to charge my jetpack, and for whatever reason, I decided to run off and jump off the edge without my jetpack. And I fell down somewhere along those lines, and it was really, really, really a huge pain in the butt. And I really don't like it. It's pain in the it, uh, it's so terrible. It is so absolutely terrible. But you do have this stuff uh, that, uh, yeah. Uh, Okay, so anyway, back to, back to excited, back to getting over it, I'm, I'm working on it, okay? It's so frustrating when that happens. I really need to get this angel ring thing, that's not the right, I need to get this angel ring thing set up, which I did actually go ahead and make these guys, which, uh, the particle customizers, really, it's just five, five coal dusty, it was really easy to make those. Uh, and since they were so easy, I was like, I wanted a little bit of progress on that, so we might as well throw them in. They're really cheap, so I just did it. Now, now that we have this other stuff good to go, now that I've remade everything again, such a pain to do that. Oh, I hate it. I hate it. I hate it. I hate it. But we're moving on. We're not going to worry about it. Um, let's get four more. We have two more machines. Four more and two of you. Oh my goodness. It's so aggravating. Do we want MV? Yeah, we want MV. We don't mess with LV anymore. Probably should. But anyway, now that we have this guy, we have the pattern storage. We have the replicator. <laughs> now we have this guy. A one, a one. And I am creating a separate of these guys for each of them. Because I think it works out better that way. If each one has their own uh thing so that's what we're doing it may might be a waste of something something it's waiting do you take energy like all the time that's a lot of energy to be taking all the time buddy like seriously are you seriously taking energy the entire friggin' time is there can i stop you stop waiting don't do that anymore why why you why thing I don't know. But anyway, so what we need to do now is we actually need to get the item to replicate. And I don't currently have that accessible. I don't have it yet. Uh, let me show you over here what we're going to be replicating. I have waited. I have waited until now to tell you what we're going to replicate. Now, the fact that we're going to be replicating something, you can kind of guess what it is we're going to replicate. Like, it's not too difficult to figure out. It really isn't. So it's not too big of a secret, really. But uh, it I just haven't mentioned it yet for reasons. Now, I need these guys to go through. I have to wait for these guys to process through, and it's going to take a while. I'm probably going to go ahead and put them first in here. Uh, so let's go, actually, we're going to go ahead and do that now. I remembered! Switch your suit of armor thing! Uh, so if we go over here, we want the fuel rod of Mox to go in here first. And then we'll let the rest of them flow through and just kind of give us whatever, whatever. So as soon as it has a chance, it's going to go through and it's going to populate the bottom row first. And then we'll start getting everything back. But it will take a little while. So I'll be AFK for a little bit. Uh, I have nothing else that's going to kill me anyway. Okay, good. So, uh, but what we're going to do is actually we're going to replicate. First, I think we're going to, uh, um, Yeah. This. I think we might end up replicating Iridium Ore first. I'm not sure if we're going to do this or if we're going to wait. It depends on how much plutonium we can actually get in order to make this stuff. But I think we might do the Iridium Ore first. And the reason for that is because it does take 80 million RF to make one Iridium Ore. 80 million RF is a huge amount. And in order to start, we need... Uh, 
three plutonium here and three plutonium here. Now, dense iron plates, we can get that. It'll take a little while to get them, but it's not that big of a deal. It's, it's really not. So once we have these two things, we can put those together. 80 million RF. We don't want to deal with that more than once, but we have to get it at least one time. So we need six plutonium. We only have the three, and I have to wait. But once uh, once those things start to process through, we'll have the rest. Because remember, I took down these guys over here, so they're not. It's not going to keep processing forever. Uh, it's now going to stay here. The iron will get converted back into this stuff, though. So that's that'll be a thing. That's fine, though. I don't I don't really mind. Do you have extra? You do. Holy crap! Oh, all right. So anyway. Uh, I'm not too worried about that. It's just a little bit of fluids, uh, fuel cells and stuff. A little bit of iron. It's not a not a big deal. But as far as the plutonium goes, as soon as we get that, we can make this guy. Now, I think we're going to end up replicating this three more times because we need four of them to make one of these guys. After we get that, advanced alloy is really simple to make in comparison to iridium or in a diamond that's even easier because we just go into our system and grab them out and put them together and we're good. After that, we can duplicate the iridium uh, reinforced plates directly. Now, what that means is that it should be, it'll ta still take time, but it won't take nearly as much time, I don't believe, in order to get these things going, which is why I'm doing it. Because if you remember, and if you don't remember, I'm not going to find the recipe right now, but we needed 16 of them in order to get the wrench for AE2. Now we currently have 835 of uh, 839 and I believe each one of the iridium reinforced plates actually takes like 560 so it takes a huge amount of this stuff in order to replicate those. Uh, so right now we can only do one. It will still take a bunch of time in order to get that. But if I keep AFKing over a while in uh, the next few days here or there, we should be able to work our way up. And we also need some for our wings so we need that plus six which is what i mean we uh i calculated it out before we needed like 74 or 76 something something along that the number close to that tiny uh stacks of tiny piles of plutonium we needed like 74 stacks of them it's a huge amount because you only get one just one from each of the depleted fuel cells whether that be the mocks or the other one, it doesn't matter. You, they both only give you an extra of one tiny pile. So that's 74 stacks. Of, that's a lot. It's a huge amount. And that nuclear reactor takes so long to burn through it. So this is going to take a lot less time. Even though it will still take a while, it will still take a huge amount less time. So that's how we're going to do that. That's what we're going to do. And hopefully by the time the next episode is ready to be recorded, we'll be good to go. And uh, we'll be able to get some of those things started. But the way that it works, by the way, uh, it's short distraction. We have a bunch of pink slime balls. So we're pretty much good to go for our, uh, our, our laser drill thing. But this is a sidetrack because we wanted to get this set up and start processing so we can actually get everything working. Uh, that's why we took a detour back to this situation and did this setup. But what we do basically is we put the iridium ore in here. We put a crystal, uh, crystal memory, I believe is what it's called. Crystal memory. Made a couple of these already uh, for the pattern swords, I think. Uh, but basically you have the crystal memory right here. You make this guy and then you cook it and it will give you one of these. And then you put that crystal memory right down in here. You put the item you want to scan into here. In this case, the iridium ore first and then the plate itself after that. And it will scan it. You say store to disk or something like that. You take the disk out. You put it in your pattern storage. You say import from crystal. And then it will be in here. And inside the replicator, we will be able to choose it. It's kind of how that works. It's pretty cool. It's a handy landy little thing. We got more of this. I just kind of overpopulated this guy with the clay dust. But anyway... Um, yeah, so we're good. Like, we're, we're on the way. So I just have to wait a little while until those guys process so we can start making the rest of this stuff, start getting these guys into the crystal disc. I'm going to go ahead and make the crystal memories here. Uh, like I said, it's just silicon dioxide. You make the clay dust so that you can get this. You need five of those, and you do that thing, and then you and then you cook it, and it, yep, yeah, we're good. All right, so other than that, other than that, pretty much good. But that is about all the time I left for this episode. So if you did like it, uh, 
If you liked the video, please hit that like button. If you want to see more, you want my videos sent directly to you, then don't forget to subscribe. Comment, fair share. If you can, if you, if you, comment, favorite, and share if you feel like you want to. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you next time. I don't know why my outro is getting so hard to say. I think I need to change it. I think I've been saying that I need to change it for a pretty long while, and I just haven't really ever done it. I don't know. It's not easy to do. When you've been saying the same thing at the end of the video for a very, very long time, it's kind of hard to change. But anyway, yeah, that's about it. Pe uh, peace out, peeps.